Yeah, good day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again with another video uh, just to do a bit of a maintenance tip here. What you see in front of you here is this is a Jolly Evo by Tecamec uh, chainsaw grinder and we're just doing a bit of a check on the alignment of the backstop because the backstop can cause a lot of problems and what you're looking for is that this bar here is horizontal it doesn't lean down that it stays horizontal so in other words it's not leaning this way or it's not leaning that way and if we come from this direction you have to make sure that it's not that way or it's not that way so it's in perfect alignment so the way that you check that is there's various different methods of checking it but you can use a square and put the square up against here and line this up with your eyes and it's pretty good or, and then you can push it down forwards like that lay the square again and check the alignment so it's a little bit fiddly but it can be done and it should be done so sometimes the knobs get in the way so you've got to make sure that that's right because if that's out a couple of degrees then it can kick this out to either that side or that side or if it's that way it could twist it that way or twist it that way now one of the problems that you get is that all these backstops whether it's Oregon, Tacomic, Chinese copies the backstop has a radius like that on the front it's not as I've probably put a bit more radius on that so that you can really see it and the problem is if the tooth is in the middle, it's okay. If the tooth is on the, this side and it's equal on the other side, then it sits uniform. But in most cases, most people will never adjust it so that it's perfect. How do you get it perfect? Quite simple, grind it flat. And it doesn't matter where the tooth sits. It's as simple as that. The only reason that they keep a bit of a radius on it so that the grinding wheel doesn't uh, grind off the corner. So it gives it a bit more clearance by having a radius on it. But it causes that problem that the tooth must sit equally either side. On a brand new chain, you can leave it in the middle. But you must make sure of that. And what I do, it's very, very simple, is grind off the actual... We'll see whether you can see that. I just grind it dead flat. There it is there. She's dead flat. Simple as that. Whereas a brand new one has a slight radius on it. Let's see whether we can... There's a radius. Might be able to see it a bit better now. That's the radius there. That's the one that can cause the problem. So, with a combination of this bar being a little bit uh, up or down it's got to be perfectly horizontal uh, with this edge here because if you put a square on here then this distance needs to be equal so now, what's interesting enough, I've actually made, I've been experimenting, and look, I've made that many different ones to find out what works better. Typically, a narrower one like that works better than a fat one. So, when we have a look, they're almost, it's, this one's just a fraction wider, not much a fraction. Now, Interesting enough, I've got a steel USG grinder, which is about three, four times more expensive than this Tacomic. And the one on the steel USG is dead square. It's only five millimetres wide, but it has a system where you push it over from left to right. It doesn't have this thumb screw mechanism. So on any Oregon or Tacomic, you have a little hairspring like that then you put the back stop on and then you 
put the uh, tiny uh, wheel, sorry, it takes a black wheel, not a red wheel. You put the tiny little wheel on like that. And if you're doing the left cutter or the right cutter, you move this accordingly to the left or to the right. And when you've got this one on the still, it has a mechanism on here. It's got a little ball bearing and you can push the hole. It slides across from the left to the right. So it's got an indentation of a ball bearing. It goes click three millimeters that way, click three millimeters that way. So there's no room for error on the steel USG. It's perfectly square. And that's where I thought, well, if still have, has their square backstop, I'm going to make it square on the Tacomic or any other grinder that I've got and it really does work good now the main reason to do this and i'm sure and i know for a fact that there's people out there on the forums that scratch their head and say i don't know what's wrong with my grinder i'm not really happy with it the left side is grinding more than the right side it's done it from brand new i can put a brand new chain on and it will always be a millimeter longer than the other like yeah because sometimes you look at some of the videos in Oregon and some of the other videos out there, you get people using a vernier uh, caliper or a digital caliper and they'll measure each tooth. Well, I don't go that far, but all as I'm saying, the tooth variation between left and right is generally because of this setup here is not set up properly. It's bent, twisted, or what can happen, you might find out that uh, this part here got damaged and if it does get damaged and it doesn't get repaired properly meaning grind it back to the, the shape that it should be that it's sitting in the wrong position and you'll find out the left or the right tooth can be uh, different lengths so hopefully that is a good explanation and all as you've got to do uh, is make sure sometimes you need to maybe bend this Put a little bit of pressure on here because sometimes all this linkage can be a little bit loose. Not so much on this Tacomic uh, grinder, but on some of the cheap Chinese knockoffs. Even this arm here, the hole, and, and even this has got a bit of play in it. This, If you actually look at this, this has a little bit of side play in it because the holes aren't precision. And this is a different story with the still. This hole is precision. It's got, it just fits much better. And that's the best part about the steel USG grinder. It may be three times more expensive than an Oregon or a Tacomic, but it actually is superior in quality. Uh, yeah, and that's the reason I've got a steel USG grinder, because it is superior in its quality and its performance. Nothing wrong with this grinder. It really does work good. It really does. But the still is like the uh, Rolls Royce, if, if you will. Let me put it that way. Anyway, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions about the backstop being set up accurately, I'll be only too happy to answer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.